The BNO Beer Play EQ used to cost £350, but it's been reduced by two thirds to just £120, which is what I paid for my current reference wireless earphones, the Sennheiser CX400BT. So it must be the biggest sound bargain in history, right? And these monoprice modern retro headphones cost £25, a fraction of my £300 audiophile Sennheiser HD600 reference headphones. So I completely out of this league, right? Well, take a listen to each of these right now and decide for yourself. Welcome to GI Chow. Hey there, hope you're doing well. I've got a very simple video today with raw side-by-side -side recordings of some of my favorite high sound quality, high value wireless earphones, the BNO BioPlay EQ, the Sennheiser CX400BT, and the Sony WF-XB700. For comparison, I'm also gonna let you hear the audiophile reference Sennheiser HD600 and audiophile bargain monoprice modern retro headphones. For each, I'll start with the recording, then describe my perception of the sound, and finally move on to other significant aspects that stood out to me. Now, all of these sound great, but I'll focus on the key differences. So starting with the BNO Beer Play EQ and its sound, highs can be a touch exaggerated and verging on sibilant and female vocals more forward than reference, though this can make them sound more instantly engaging. The bass weight, extension and reverberation is a little less than the CX400BT, but it's not bass light. In fact, the lesser reverb makes the soundstage feel wider and less closed in than the Sen, which with the tonal balance makes for a fresher, cleaner sound. BNO provided an app with an equalizer lets you change the frequency response. It took me a while to work out, but moving the control from left to right increases travel, and moving top to bottom increases bass. Moving on to other aspects, lying on one side, the weight makes them fall out. Putting them in their case requires orienting them just so, which is more fiddly and slower than the others in this group. To skip tracks, you need to download an update via the app, which takes half an hour to install. Skipping then requires three taps, which is too much tapping in my opinion, and one can't change your control scheme via the app. You need to touch twice to change volume, presumably to avoid inadvertently changing volume when reorienting them in one's ear, but I found that practically I often did change the volume unintentionally because their weight and shape meant I handled them more than the others. Their price was high, but it's now almost reasonable for the performance and brand, and certainly better value than a noise cancelling Sennheiser MTW3, which has a similar upper mid forward sound. This is a recording using the microphone of the BNO BioPlay EQ wireless earphones. Can you hear my voice clearly? I'm not going to start some background sounds. Can you clearly hear my voice over the background sounds? And is there any clipping of the beginning or end of words? Moving on to the Sennheiser CX400BT and starting with the sound again, these don't highlight female vocals and highs, so those used to an exaggerated sound may think them less exciting than more artificial sounding earbuds, but over the long term you appreciate how beautifully even handed and natural their sound is, making all genres shine. There is an occasionally noticeable slight boxy coloration from the housing, and more throatiness in male vocals in the BNA, but that reverb adds fullness to the bass of vocals. Moving on to other aspects, the housing is a bulky, boxy design. You need to be careful replacing them in their case to make sure they are seated fully in charge. The earphones themselves have a these days short 5 hour battery life before needing to be recharged from the case, though the total time between recharges of the case itself is fine for daily use. This is a recording using the microphone of the Sennheiser CX400BT. Can you hear my voice clearly? I'm not going to start up some background sounds. Can you clearly hear my voice over the background sounds? And is there any clipping of the beginning or end of words? Finally, onto the Sony WFXB700 sound. The bass is exaggerated but goes very deep and is satisfying, and the large housing makes for a wide soundstage. Mids, however, are touch recessed. So, this has the best bass extension of the three sound stages up there with the BNO but it's less natural sounding than the Sennheiser and doesn't have the engaging pushed upper mids of the BNO. And then the other aspects, the housing design is bulky and while solidly built, still fairly light. The button rather than touch control is a little less convenient but does mean no inadvertent activation. I tend to alternate between the XB700 when I want deep bass 
and CX400BT when I want a more natural sound. This is the recording using the microphone of the Sony WF-XB700 earphones. Can you hear my voice clearly? I'm not going to start up some background sounds. Can you clearly hear my voice over the background sounds? And is there any clipping of the beginning or end of words? Finally, my audio file and value references. The Sennheiser HD600 misses bass extension and quantity. The open design does not isolate you from outside sounds and it leaks sound to your neighbours. And while you can run it from your phone, it can need an app to get sufficient loudness and the tightest, most impactful bass. Jack plug needs an adapter to fit through a phone case, and the style is not to everyone's taste, but the build is fairly solid. And of course, over £300, the price will be more than most people want to spend. The monoprice modern retro is a value king. The vocals are a little less realistic, and the highs are touch harsher, but for many, and perhaps most casual listeners, the extra expense of studio and audiophile alternatives just won't be worth it. Stock pads are not as comfortable as some cheap £5 VLOR replacements which I've installed. Again, it needs an adapter cable to fit the jack plug through a phone case, and occasionally needs the volume push to max when you want to really rock out. I often reach for these over my more expensive headphones because of their more than adequate sound in a comfortable and practical package. So there you go, what do you think? Leave a comment down below, but for now, as always, thanks to my subscribers and for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.